Okay, Thursday morning in the kingdom, it's officially freaking cold. The weather network has extreme wind chill warnings at minus 50 Celsius. So I don't know what that is in the S scale, but it's probably freaking cold, eh? Okay, so the sun is coming up, it's clear skies and calm today. I was outside for a little bit trying to gather stuff to work in the shop and it's chilly. My nose is cold. I don't think it matters how big your nose is, it would still get cold even if you had a small little nose, okay? But the temperature today at 7 o'clock or 7 a.m. was minus 36 Celsius, but feels like minus 38. For the USA friends, minus 33 Fahrenheit and minus 36 Fahrenheit. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Cold, cold. Okay. Yesterday, I commented on a fellow's post down by Winnipeg that they're finally getting some crisp weather. Facebook took offense to it because I misspelled crisp. I got the S and the P mixed up, okay? So it said cripes. So now I'm restricted on Facebook for 30 days because I have my spelling. I have no idea what happened. I've been a Facebook uh, user since 2009. Now I've been restricted because I can't spell almost think I'm dealing with my grandmother who was a school teacher and used to get out her red pen and write everything or circle mistakes, anything you did. Even in kindergarten, you'd write her a happy Valentine's thing and she would correct it, okay? We're really hoping to go camping tonight, but we want the clear skies and everything, but not this freaking cold, like this minus 50. It's just killing everything. The iPod's gonna die right quickly. Like the battery will only last like three minutes and then censor my conversation with my kingdom followers around the world. So I better work quickly. We don't have the wood stove going on in the caboose because I have to make some modifications to the wood stove. That's why we've been running it for five days to find out any design flaws. Okay, we'll scroll this way. Oh, the flag exercise is happy. He's in his natural state. Okay, I'm turning, turning. So... It is chilly. We got a couple of pieces of equipment plugged in to go camping, but we're not sure. We're going to wait till the last minute to see if it's good to go. Oh, I missed the wood stove at the shop there. Okay, back up. Back up before they censor me. There. Look at the smoke coming out of the wood stove. Can we see it? Oh, there. Now we can see it. Here, I'll turn down, tilt slightly. Look at that. That is cold today. No breeze, nothing. I can hear the people in Whoville talking about me and their hatred towards me, but that's normal. All right, we'll scroll this way. Scroll, it is cold, see my breath? <coughs> and it tastes or smells like clear mint. Nobody's commented if they could smell it for some reason. You know, it is mint minty. Oh well, only Les Nessman can show his hog reports to the listeners. Okay, so we got the barrel sleigh loaded up there. It looks good, okay. Oh, now I'm looking at the wood stove smoke. That's just going straight up. That's good. Okay, well, I better go before this thing censors me. And we'll get ready to go camping tonight, hopefully. Okay? Okay, 4 o'clock in the afternoon or... No, it's 3.30. Sorry, I'm all confused. I didn't have coffee today because I was trying to get the wood stove going on in the caboose because it's been 8 hours since it should have been on. But as you can see... The airliners fly directly over Whoville on the way to Los Angeles and stuff like that from Europe. So it's kind of neat that way. So we see the aircrafts on a clear day like today. We could probably see the fuselage or the outline of the airplane because it would be all shiny. Okay, in the caboose, and I like this Asian welder that I bought there back in July or June when the other Lincolns crapped out at the same time. Okay, so I was able to carry it over to the caboose and I pre-built the pot pail or pot platform for the stove but I just had to weld it into place so it actually works out pretty good. So now we're going to melt this snow which is going to have little water volume whatsoever. Very little. The snow up here is dry. It's not a wet snow. Okay so I better get back to work. The boss is coming. Okay I'm back outside. I'm looking southwest at the sunset. Okay you can count the airplane trails or the I don't know what they're called. They're streams or something part of a conspiracy theory okay so we have one here two here three here now I'm gonna go scroll around so I'm facing kind of north north uh, west so there's four 
Okay, just look at that, eh? But I can go on Flight Tracker and see where these flights came from and follow them into Los Angeles and stuff like that or over to Alaska or Europe, okay? But I can't follow the airplanes taking off from the Lynn Lake, I mean the Whoville Airport because they locked us down on that. The government doesn't want us knowing what's going on. Well, I better get back to work. Here comes the boss. Okay, 4.30 in the afternoon, we're done for the day. I know sun dogs today around the sun, those little rainbows, so that means it's going to be a nicer day tomorrow. It's not going to be that extreme cold. So maybe we can go overnight camping in the caboose and such. Oh, the yard lights are coming on, so I better go walk the dog, go get the pony, and then I can relax and drink some beer. Talk to you later.